result of productivity and help you unleash your full potential. Get ready to take your productivity to the next level with Productivity Smarts. As a productivity expert and host of the Productivity Smarts podcast, Gerald J. Leonard has been a proud supporter of Kiva since 2011. Kiva is a non-profit organization that helps entrepreneurs in third world countries access the capital they need to start or grow their businesses. By making a small loan through Kiva, you can help these entrepreneurs achieve their dreams, support their families, and contribute to their local economies. And with a repayment rate of over 96%, your loan can be relent to another entrepreneur once it's repaid, creating a ripple effect of positive change. So if you're looking for a meaningful way to make a difference in the world, consider making a loan through Kiva. With loans as small as $25, anyone can be a micro lender and help change lives. Visit kiva.org to learn more and start lending today. Hello, and welcome to the Productivity Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about conducting a time audit to increase your productivity. If you want to improve your productivity and effectiveness, this podcast is for you. We aim to help you optimize your time and workload to achieve measurable results and improve your efficiencies and effectiveness. Conducting a time audit can help you gain insight into your current work habits, identify areas of improvement, and help you achieve your goals faster. By tracking your time, you can identify patterns and eliminate time-wasting activities, which will allow you to focus on tasks that truly matter. We promise to provide practical tips, advice, and strategies to optimize your time so you can be more productive. We know you're an ambitious, busy, and results-driven individual who are open-minded, strategic, and a collaborative learner. We aim to help you move from feeling overwhelmed and disorganized to a place of control where you can prioritize your tasks, reduce stress, and achieve your goals faster. To help you achieve this transformation, we will provide a free Productivity Smarts weekly evaluation worksheet to help you track your time, prioritize your tasks, and focus on the most critical tasks and projects. We will then discuss the importance of conducting a time audit, provide statistics from scholars and peer-reviewed studies, and share common goals you can strive towards. According to a study by Harvard Business Review, the average worker spends 41% of their time on low-value tasks that could be delegated or eliminated. By conducting a time audit, you can identify these low-value tasks and focus on high-value tasks to help you achieve your goals faster. We all have goals, whether personal or professional. Some common goals we can all strive towards include increasing productivity, reducing stress, improving work-life balance, and achieving measurable results. To conduct a time audit, you must track your time, identify patterns, and eliminate time-wasting activities and prioritize your task. Doing so can optimize your time and workload and reduce stress so you can achieve your goals faster. Have you ever felt overwhelmed, and disorganize, unsure where to focus your time and energy. Conducting a time audit is like creating a baseline for a project. By creating a baseline, you can identify the most efficient route, know your expected destination, and then compare how you've planned to spend your time against how you've actually spent your time. According to neurosciencenews.com, Our brain is wired to seek rewards and avoid pain. We can optimize our time and improve our overall well-being by identifying tasks that bring us joy and fulfillment and eliminating tasks that cause stress and pain. One common resistance to conducting a time audit is the belief that there is insufficient time to track your time. However, tracking time can save time in the long run by identifying time-wasting activities and allowing you to focus on high-value tasks. One common myth is that multitasking is efficient. However, research has shown that multitasking can decrease productivity and increase your stress. Imagine 
waking up every morning with a clear plan for the day, knowing exactly where to focus your time and energy, you feel in control and confident and empowered to achieve your goals. According to a study by McKinsey and Company, managers spend 28% of their time on email. Managers should focus on high-value tasks by eliminating unnecessary emails and delegating tasks to help them achieve their goals. One current issue is the rise of remote work, making it harder to manage time effectively. Separating work tasks from personal tasks can be challenging due to the blurred lines between work and home. By conducting a time audit and setting clear boundaries, remote workers can optimize their time and be more productive. One inhibitor to conducting a time audit is the fear of change. It can be uncomfortable to confront our work habits and identify areas for improvement. However, by embracing change and being willing to try new approaches, we can achieve our goals faster and improve our overall well-being. One enabler to conducting a time audit is the availability of technology. Many apps and tools can help you track time, prioritize tasks, and eliminate time-wasting activities. Before we dive deeper into this topic of time audits, I want to take a moment to tell you about a fantastic book, A Symphony of Choices. Introducing A Symphony of Choices, the must-read book for any manager looking to improve their decision-making, project management, and workplace engagement skills. Author Gerald J. Leonard takes readers on a journey through a high-pressure season for a symphony orchestra, where a mentorship program was implemented to turn things around. Through real-life examples and relatable anecdotes, you'll learn how mentorship can transform a team, boost productivity, and achieve outstanding results. This book is not just for music industry professionals, but for anyone in a leadership position who wants to improve their management skills. With practical tips and actionable advice, you'll discover how to make sound decisions in high-pressure situations, motivate your team to achieve their best work, manage complex projects with ease, foster a culture of collaboration and teamwork, and much more. A Symphony of Choices is a timely resource full of practical tools and real examples that will help you build the knowledge and skills to thrive in a project-driven world. Antonio Nieto Rodriguez. A Symphony of Choices is a book that will inspire and empower you to become a better leader. Whether you're a seasoned executive or just starting out in your career, this book is an invaluable resource for anyone looking to improve their management skills and achieve success in the workplace. Order your copy today and join the thousands of managers who have already benefited from the mentorship lessons presented in A Symphony of Choices. Welcome back. Let's say you are a program manager with an extensive portfolio of projects. By conducting a time audit, you may discover that you spend too much time in meetings and not enough time on high-value tasks. You can optimize your time and achieve measurable results by delegating some of your meeting responsibilities and prioritizing high-value tasks. Deep Work is a book that explores the benefits of focused and uninterrupted work in today's distracted and hyperconnected world. The book argues that the ability to concentrate intensely and produce high quality work is becoming increasingly rare and valuable in the current economy. The author introduces deep work as the ability to focus without distractions on a cognitively demanding task. He argues that deep work is becoming increasingly important in today's economy where automation and artificial intelligence are making many jobs redundant. The ability to produce high-quality, creative work is becoming more valuable, and those who can do it well will likely be successful. The book provides practical strategies for developing the ability to concentrate intensely, including time blocking, minimizing distractions, and embracing boredom. The author also discusses the importance of training your brain to focus and provides tips for developing the habit of deep work. In addition, the book explores the benefits of deep work for both individuals and organizations. The author argues that deep work can lead to greater productivity, creativity, and satisfaction in work. He also suggests that organizations can benefit from promoting 
deep work among their employees and provide examples of companies that have successfully implemented deep work practices. Now, here are four things I've learned from reading the book, Deep Work by Cal Newport. Number one, work deeply. In the book, he recommends in this section called Work Deeply that you have a day where you work for 90 minutes on and then you take a 90 minute break and you repeat this two to three times for that day and you call that your deep work day. So that way you're focused on the task for 90 minutes, you take a 90 minute break and then you go back uninterrupted for another 90 minutes and repeat that two or three times. You see, total focus for 90 minute sprints of uninterrupted workflow will help you create um, some amazing work and allow you to practice deep work. Number two, deep work helps you produce at an elite level. Adam Grant, a Wharton professor, uses a process where he batches his work. He practices deep work by stacking his teaching coursework in the fall semester so that he can use the spring and summer semesters to conduct research, write papers, and to write his best-selling books. The goal is to focus on mastery and learn hard things fast. Number three, take breaks from focus, not distraction. Practice time blocking your work and time blocking your distractions or your downtime. Learn to leverage routines and rituals in your schedule. Fourth, the law of the vital few. Here, you identify your most important goals and the most important tasks to achieve your goals. And then you filter your schedule and all requests for your time from others through the vital few goals and task lens. Overall, Deep Work is a thought-provoking book that challenges readers to consider the value of deep work in today's economy. It provides practical strategies for developing the ability to concentrate intensely and argue that those who do so will likely be successful in their careers. According to the National Institute of Health, multitasking can increase stress levels and decrease productivity. So focusing on one task at a time can improve your overall well-being and help you achieve your goals. One solution to conducting a time audit is to use the Every goal is a project. Every one is a project manager worksheet. This worksheet provides a step-by-step process for conducting a time audit and prioritizing tasks, which can help you achieve your goals faster. And you can download it from the show notes. So what everyday task-wasting activity can you eliminate to optimize your time and your workload? Conducting a time audit can help you gain insights into your current work habits, identify areas of improvement, and achieve your goals faster. By tracking your time, prioritizing tasks, and eliminating time-wasting activities, you can optimize your work and workload, reduce stress, and improve your overall well-being. The ancient Greeks had a saying, know thyself. By conducting a time audit, we can gain self-awareness and identify areas of improvement, which is essential for personal and professional growth. Stephen Covey said, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. Now, if you want to take your productivity to the next level and achieve even greater success, check out our sponsor, Growth Strategies. Are you looking for a way to take your business or career to the next level? Look no further than the Growth Strategies Coaching and Mastermind program from the Productivity Intelligence Institute. This innovative program is designed for entrepreneurs, business owners, and professionals who want to accelerate their growth and achieve their goals faster than they ever thought possible. Led by productivity expert and mastermind coach Gerald J. Leonard, this program offers a unique blend of coaching, mentorship, and peer support. Through weekly coaching calls, personalized feedback, and accountability from a supportive community of like-minded professionals, you'll learn the strategies and tactics you need to achieve your most ambitious goals. Whether you're looking to increase revenue, build your team, or launch a new product or service, the Growth Strategies Coaching and Mastermind program can help you get there. Ready to take your business or career to the next level? Sign up for the Growth Strategies Coaching and Mastermind program today at productivityintelligenceinstitute.com forward slash mastermind. Welcome back. 
So to conduct a time audit, start by tracking your time for a week or two using the Productivity Smarts Weekly Evaluation Worksheet. Identify patterns in areas of improvement, such as time-wasting activities, distractions, and tasks that can be delegated. Prioritize high-value tasks and eliminate or delegate low-value tasks. Repeat the process regularly to ensure that you stay on track and continue to optimize your time. Start conducting a time audit today. Download the free Productivity Smarts Weekly Evaluation Worksheet and start tracking your time and activities. Identify areas for improvement and prioritize your high-value tasks. Optimizing your time and workload can reduce stress and help you achieve your goals and improve your overall well-being. What practical tips and strategies have you found helpful to optimizing your time and workload? And thank you for listening to the podcast today. We hope you have gained valuable insight in conducting a time audit to increase your productivity. Download the free Productivity Smarts weekly evaluation worksheet and start tracking your time today. Optimize your time and workload. You can achieve your goals faster and improve your overall well-being. If you're enjoying the content and finding it valuable, we would appreciate it if you could take a moment and leave us a review. Your feedback is important to us and helps us reach a wider audience. If you leave us a five-star review, it would mean the world to us. Not only does it help us improve the podcast, but it also helps us attract more sponsors and grow our community. Thank you again for your support and for listening to the Productivity Smarts Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to Productivity Smarts, where we help you achieve your goals and live your best life. We hope you've gained valuable insights and actionable strategies to boost your productivity and increase your happiness and fulfillment. Remember to apply what you've learned and keep striving towards your goals. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more inspiring episodes and expert advice from our host, Gerald J. Leonard. Until next time, Keep pushing forward and unleashing your productivity smarts.